Quite the spectacle took place off the shores of the Emerald Coast earlier today. Destin officials helped sink, uh, sink a retired research vessel to create a new artificial reef in the Gulf of Mexico. News 13's Jake Holter went along for the ride and tells us how this sunken ship will help boost ecotourism in the area. The retired research vessel Mansa plunged to the floor of the Gulf of Mexico Sunday morning. The 180 foot long ship was rusting in a shipyard until Destin officials acquired it for use as an artificial reef. We try and take advantage of this and procure these for basically the price of scrap and use them as or clean them up and deploy them as artificial reefs. Um, th this really is an awesome opportunity for the destination. Almost 40 people from across the southeast were on board a charter boat to witness the sinking of the Manta. It was really neat to watch. This is the first one I've ever seen. So it was really unique and I, it made some really interesting sounds that I didn't think were going to happen from a sinking ship. And of course, all the air bubbles were really fun to kind of watch up come after. The ship now rests at a depth of just over 100 feet and will make for a multi-purpose undersea attraction. Deploying these large vessels provides not only great habitat for the fish, but a really cool destination for people to go diving. Um, you know, everyone wants to come to a destination and dive a shipwreck. And these large wrecks are, are really what people are, are after. This is now the second largest artificial reef off the coast of Okaloosa County. And along for the ride to the depths was a statue of Jesus Christ aptly named the Christ of the Gulf. Off the coast of Destin, Jay Coulter, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Destin officials hope to sink another research vessel named the Dolphin in about a month. That ship will rest just southeast of the Manta.